welcome, 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 welcome. For, yeah. I am going to do um, a quick Halloween special for you guys. I know I really wanted to get into the whole, um, the meaning of Halloween and all that, okay? Um, it's just kind of like not the, not the best timing. Um, sorry about that. Let me put that on mute. Um, can I mute you? What's going on? Can I mute you? Sorry about that. Guys. Um, it's just not the the best timing for me to sit here and do like a huge video like that. Okay. Um, I do want to tell you though, like with certain things, um, you know, a lot of people on and why it's you know it, it's so important or whatnot. But there's there's so much to talk about. Um. I think people like get freaked out because there's such a there's such a thin veil between um it's like between the world of the living and the dead, you know, and, and it shouldn't be a freaky thing at all. All right. We you know, people pass over all the time. It's it's spirits, okay? It's whatever you want to believe in, however that works for you. Um but I think another reason why they made it like a festive holiday is because so many people were freaked out um, that they decided to make it a, a festive thing, all right? Um, so people can get out of the whole terror and the fear, you know, especially working with, with um, certain energy, especially Scorpio energy, you know, it's 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 fear, okay? Um, but death is nothing to be afraid of, you know, it's it's new opportunities to create something new, to be creative, you know, to go through those transitions. So I think it's beautiful. Um, I think it's beautiful energy. Okay. I think people just fear it and there's, there's no reason. It's just like any other day, except the veil is a little thinner. Okay. So if you want to protect yourselves, you know, I'm sure you can go on Google and, you know, um, there's all different ways, especially if you're going to do any type of ritual or anything like that, you know, definitely protect yourself um but besides that you know I can say that in everyday activity working with the universe you know you got to protect yourself so I just don't want it to be a scary thing for people because it, it's it's not it's it's a transition the, the veil is a little thinner but so isn't it on other a lot of other days that people don't realize okay so I don't really want to um dwell too much on that I think you know it's it's more like a, a celebration. It's, it's ancient. It's a festival. It's, it's, it's here to be happy and put smiles on your faces. And, you know, it's, it's, it's also letting go of fear and just becoming a new you, which I think is, is beautiful. Okay. So let's just do a couple cards and see what the energy is going to be like for tomorrow. Scorpio's back energy. All right, don't fear it. Now is the time to release the fears and go towards something brand new and beautiful. Okay, so energy for Halloween, please. Energy for Halloween. What's that one that came out? The Empress. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely with your spirit guides tomorrow, which is beautiful. Um, you know, protection. It's also intuition, all right? Your intuition is definitely on top, that is for sure, all right? We have the Ten of Ghosts, so it, it's almost like your spirit guides want you, want to lead you to happiness, okay? Um, so it's a very intuitive time for you, too, so what else? Or it looks like, you know, the Empress will, will be happy tomorrow, you know? Um... Go have fun. Go act like a child again. Okay. Six of that. So this is this is being guided out of stormy water. To 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 have your, your ten of cups, to have your happy. Okay. You're definitely being guided out of stormy water. Because you know the Empress 
definitely wants her Ten of Cups if she doesn't already have it. So, again, you're being guided. Because the Black Cat represents spirit guides, you know? Um, helping you along the way, which is which is beautiful. So it looks like tomorrow is an important day for a lot of people. Uh, we have the Five of Pumpkin, and it was reversed. So coming out of coming out of the loneliness. Okay? Um, stop worrying about the past. Release the past. All right. It, it's not like hey, go with the devil, you know, because you, you're fearing it. Okay, so you're fearing moving forward, but but don't. Okay, because look at these pumpkins. These pumpkins are happy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't. You're coming out of the loneliness. All right, and, and some of you that are not coming out of the lonely until you get on your boat and go, you, you're going to continue to feel lonely, okay? So let's get out of that energy, please, because that's, that's no good energy. What else? So the Wheel of Fortune, okay? It's, it's again, it, it's destiny, but it, it's also... You know, it's it's the it's fate. Okay, it's do you want to sit and repeat the same cycle, or or do you want to move forward? Okay, so to me, I'm guessing you want to go towards your happiness. It only makes sense. So whatever it is you're holding on to, all right. <clears throat> you got the nine of limps, so you got the knight of wands coming in. All right. Um, this is somebody who's very passionate. Um, it's a, it's not really rational thinking all the time. They just kind of like they go off of you know, passion and charm, and they like to rush, um, they like to rush in, but I don't see any harm here, I, I see, like, this person is your happiness, um, and it looks like fate is going to intervene, um, I don't know if we still have some toxicity on the board. We got the spirit guys. We got the little devil floating in the air. Um, but it looks like fate's going to intervene. Destiny's going to intervene. <clears throat> you know, you got the two of bats. So, you know, it's, it's you got to make a decision, but it was reversed. So this person or somebody, you know, doesn't want to make a decision whether or not to get out of stormy water. Um... Or it's you that's going to have to make the decision to get out of stormy water. A decision is going to be necessary. It just hasn't been made yet. Or it's not. It has, somebody just doesn't want to make it. Um, we have justice, which is karma. Okay? It's it's balancing out the scales. It's it's coming out of this feeling. It's, it's addressing your karma and moving forward and, and getting out of energy. Um, Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So... With the four of pens reversed, so slowly let go of this energy and move forward, okay? Um, but to me, what it's saying, it, you know, you really want your happy. You need to stop feeling lonely or, you know, move out of a certain situation that you're in. Or if your happy comes in, because it's, it's fate, if it comes in, they're saying, you know, get on the boat together. And both of you get out of this this feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like... Don't be indecisive, all right? It's, it's balance out the scales, you know? Find find the balance, find the harmony, you know? Um, and then we got death in the chariot, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, leave it, leave the death behind. Like, let, have a renewal and move forward, you know? But I just want to clarify, um, a couple things. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. You know, it's, it's the Emperor, all right? So, I, again, it's, it's the, the Queen. Um, and the King. So, well, the Emperor and the Empress. But, again, it's like, you're looking right at each other. You guys are mirroring each other's energy. So, you both... You're both kind of a little like, uh, you know, not the best energy right now. But at the same time, you both make each other happy. So 
you know, this, this looks like this person's going to come rushing in. And if they don't come rushing in, I mean, they, they are coming in. All right. It's, it, it's coming in. If it, They're going to stop feeling it. Well, you're going to stop feeling it. Sorry about the Ten of Cups. Um, so just go with the flow. All right. Enjoy, enjoy the energy. Enjoy, enjoy the day if you have kids, you know. Enjoy yourselves. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. This is just being a, a you know, a, a happy family. All right, it's the Two of Cups. So if this person wants to come in, all right, and again, it, it's it's mutual. Okay, it's it's mutual energy. You're looking right at each other. You guys feel the same up towards each other, except no one's taking action. It looks like this person might take action. All right, it can be a couple of days before, a couple of days after. But it is the energy. It's when the veil is thin, okay? It's because their intuition, it's like an epiphany too, all right? Like their intuition kicks in or your intuition kicks in because it could be the two of you. I mean, who knows who's what, you know? But like when I clarified the empress, you know, her mind is with the emperor. But the emperor's mind is on her. The Knight of Wands is on. You know what I'm saying? It is so mutual. You guys are mirroring energy. If one having a bad day, the other's having a bad day. Something about the two of bats. Someone needs to make a decision here. It, you know, like... They're both two alphas. Both very ind independent people. Okay. Um, We got the Nine of Cups. Alright. So it's like the, the ships are here. You, you know, you, you make each other happy. Um with the hangman so it, it's like it, it's just in limbo whether or not the two of you are going to get on this boat together tell me about the five of pumpkins um well that's coming out of that we really don't need to all right so it's the princess of wands reversed it, it's the princess that doesn't want to take action right now it's it's the empress again <clears throat> I really need you to fix that, okay? My little empresses, I really do. I really need you to go towards you're happy. If this person comes in, at least clear up karma, have a conversation, okay? This needs to be dealt with. It needs to be situated. If the person comes around, it needs to be addressed. Something about justice. You could just be dealing with a Libra, or it's just, it's, it, it's karmically balancing out the scales once again, okay? Like, Clearing up the karma, all right? It's the Ten of Cups again, okay? So, we'll clear up the karma. If this is so mutual, like I'm telling you, if the two of you are down in the dumps, if one's down in the dumps, the other one's down in the dumps, unfortunately, okay? It's just, it's how connected you guys are, all right? Um, it's time to, for the truth to come out. It's, it's time for clarity. I think a lot of you, if this person doesn't come in, I think spiritually, um, because the veil is so thin, I think you're going to recognize something. I think you're going to have like an epiphany. Okay. I, I think that it's going to be one of those moments, whether this person steps in or not. It looks like this person's going to step in though. Tell me about the night of, the night, the night of wands. Seven of Cups. It's it's like going over the options with the Eight of Cups. All right, so that here's the deal: like they're not happy either. See what I'm saying? Like, it's like you need to get on your boat. You two, you need to get on it together and walk and walk towards your happiness. All right, and to me, this is saying that the Knight doesn't want to have options like that anymore. Like they they want their happy, they want fulfillment. Okay, um, they want. They want to be victorious, you know. It's like this is what that eight is telling me. So we clarify the eight of cups. You make them happy, vice versa. Okay. Um, it's it's the two of pens. So again, it, it's the nothing's being juggled here. This two of pens is 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 coming together. It, it's two. It's unity. Okay. It's it's balancing out the scales again. We got the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So. It's, it's their past, all right? They need to, to completely let go of their past. 
So I don't know who's going to have the epiphany moment or if it's going to take this person to come in for her to have it or if it's just going to happen. Um, something is going to take place shortly, okay? That's for sure. The two of you most definitely make each other happy. Um, there's no question. It's just a matter of, you know, looks like this one needs to approach this one. It needs to address karma, okay? about being undecisive and you know this person makes you happy so let this person make you happy let's not worry about what other people think or conditioning anything like that okay because it, it, it's so much it's so much bigger than that now i just want to clarify real quick with this death the empress and, and the knight and that's it what about the empress because we both know at this point you're mirroring each other's energy Empress, Empress. The Seven of Bats, all right? So trying to escape the past, all right? She, she's trying to escape the past. It, it's, it's like self-sabotage. There's no escaping, you know? Like, it's, it's going to catch up, all right? So, oh, my goodness gracious. I really hope this night comes in, all right? Like, this this woman's sanity right now but like she doesn't even want to confront it you don't even want to confront it if you're divine feminine you know oh you guys gotta work on that um tell me about the knight of wands well you just worry that this person is the seven of bats you know what i'm saying very self-sabotaging energy but this is i mean it is her thoughts i don't know if it's towards him because i mean they would be looking at each other like that but or if it's self-sabotage. Tell me about the knight. Knight of wands, knight of wands. And he's going, it looks like, see, he's going. Like, it's, he's going towards his karma. Time to balance out the scale. If you ask me, the two of you are being pretty stubborn. It's the devil reverse. So coming out of the, the coming out of the toxicity, all right? Um, I want to say, tell me about the devil. I want to say it's, it's happy energy, but it's almost like with it being reversed. Oh, man. Tell me about the devil. I just want to clarify real quick before I give my opinion. It's the lovers. All right, so it's just... It's the four wands. That's who you like want the stability. You want foundation. I just I don't think you thought you were gonna find it with each other. It, it's just again not making a decision. But it doesn't make any sense because it, it he's going right towards, right towards it. I, I don't think like, not like he's being forced, but being like forced like um. To you know the devil's right there. It's like coming. I think what it's saying is this person's coming out of toxicity. You know, but still doesn't want to make a decision. Still doesn't want to make a decision. <sighs> Guys, it's tough. It's tough. It looks like it's, it's coming no matter what, though. I think this person knows they have no choice but to confront karma. You know? I wish you guys the best of luck. I just... For the two of you, for the two of you... This is so mutual. Tell me about the five of pence. It is so mutual. It's like the both of you feel like this. You know? It's the ten of bats. All right? And then this came out too. All right? So it's, I don't know if it's saying this person's carrying a lot of, of weight for leaving you out in the cold or they're carrying a lot of financial weight. I think it's just the two of you. I mean, at the ten because it's mutual. Again. You're looking at each other. You're mirroring each other's energy. Like, what are you guys doing? It's, it's like self-torture. It's self-sabotage, you know? Like, six of pumpkins. It's, again, balancing out the scales. Like, tell me about justice. Justice. It's a tough one, guys. All right? It's, but there's love there. Right, somebody wants to, to balance out the scales because there's, there's enough love. Okay. Um, 
It's just a destined scenario, so there's no way around it, really. The wheels here, you know, that's the name. The, the, you guys are looking right at each other. Tell me about the wheel. All right, the chariot, yeah, moving, moving forward. All right. Making the decision moving forward, so it looks like this person might be making a decision. And then we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. So again, same energy. You guys are off mirroring each other a lot. I wish you the best of luck. If it's if you guys, I, the woman needs to repeat, release something from the past. Okay, harboring something, but so isn't he. But I think what you guys don't realize, when it comes together, it's like an instant release. So actually tomorrow would be fantastic energy if it does happen to go down that way. Because um, the two of you, uh, like I said, you're marrying each other, the, the same energy. This one wants something else, this one wants something else. But they know it's destined for fighting it. Looks like this one's gonna take action, get in the car, take action. It's like again, spirit guide, they're being they're being guided. All right, there I think they had to let go of a toxicity, they had to let go of a lover or something toxic. They had to let something go in order for something new to come in. This one, little miss things harboring. And regardless, the two of you are not gonna figure this out unless you figure it out together. That's how comic it is. So I wish you the best of luck. If you have the opportunity to address it, please address it. If you don't have the opportunity to address it, address it to the ethers. Okay. Let go of whatever it is you're harboring. It's it's that energy to release. Go over what you've learned in the last year and, and let it go. Send it off to the ethers. You know, make sure you're protecting yourself if you're doing type of any type of energy work um tomorrow. And um time to release. It, this is rebirth. Okay. You can't fight the a transition even if you wanted to. So you might as well make the best of it, regardless of your scenario. If it could be confronted, confront it. If the other person won't confront, confront it yourself. Be be that person. Be big, brave, and strong. And um, look at what it is you're harboring. Regardless if it's meant to be or not. Maybe you need to release something for this person to come in. I don't know. Only you would know that. I love you guys. Happy Halloween. Be safe. Bye, guys.